drug. Doctors scrambling to stop people from using a cheap heroin knockoff that's been coming into the United States from Russia. It's growing in popularity across the country. The drug is known as Crocodile because after the high, the skin rots and takes on a scaly green appearance. And I want to warn you, because some of these pictures here that we're going to show you, they are graphic, but it's important for people to understand how awful this is. And Ted Rollins is out front. The images are horrific. People with missing and rotting flesh, in some cases down to the bone. It's from a horrible drug called Crocodile. It's extremely addictive and gives users a heroin-like high. Suspected cases surfaced in the U.S. last month in Utah and Arizona. Then, this week, five people showed up in Joliet, Illinois, with similar symptoms. One person, a woman, according to doctors, lost significant portions of her leg. So far, none of the U.S. cases have been confirmed as being caused by Crocodile, but the doctor that treated the Illinois patients is convinced. It's a zombie drug. I mean, it literally it kills you from the inside out. If you want a way to die, this is the way to die. The drug first surfaced in Russia in the early 2000s and has grown in popularity. As many as one million Russians are estimated to use Crocodile. When you see these images, it's hard to imagine anyone ever wanting to use this drug. But to a heroin addict, there are a few things about the drug that are actually attractive. First of all, it's cheap, about the third the price of heroin. It's also relatively easy to make. Some of the ingredients used to make the drug include lighter fluid, paint thinner, and gasoline. One of the issues is that it's actually more addictive than morphine, for instance, because it's, it's almost ten times more potent. According to the hospital in Illinois, their patients said they thought they were buying heroin. I think this is the tip of the iceberg. I think it's going to get a lot worse before it gets better. I think eventually if it stays out on the market long enough, you're going to have people that are desperate addicts that can't support their own heroin habit, but can utilize this drug, not really caring about the consequences, and get the same high for a third of the price. But the real price looks like this, and the hope is that these images are horrific enough to prevent people from using the drug. Ted Rollins, CNN, Chicago.